So we're going to solve x minus 3y equals negative 1 for x. So we've got to get x on its own. It already is, kind of. Yeah, just have to get rid of this negative 3y and we've got it, right? Mm -hmm. So to undo subtract 3y, what should we do? Add. Yep, add 3y. Now if you add 3y to the left of the equation, just add 3y to the right, right? So negative 3y plus 3y is 0, and we have x equals negative 1 plus 3y. That make sense? Yes. And we're also going to write it, rearrange the terms. So put the, the y term on the left and the number on the right. So just switch these around, and what does it look like? And the trick I'm is sorry, from, what was that? So we're just going to switch these around. We're going to put the y term on the left, and that's a positive 3y, isn't it? So yes. 3y. And this is a negative 1, so minus 1. Does that make sense? Yes. So it can be written this way or this way. They're both correct. I don't mind which way anyone does it in the homework, but that's, that's all it is. And that's similar to, I'm just going to do a quick example with numbers. If I had x minus 3 times y, let's say it was 3 times 10, which is, what's 3 times 10? 30. 30, yeah. So equals negative 1. I could have just added 3 times 10 without writing 30. It would have been fine. 3 times 10, right? And now we have 30, negative 30 plus 30 is 0, right? So I have x equals negative 1 plus 3 times 10. And that's correct. So instead of y, if you have 3 times 10, that would all make sense. This would just be x equals negative 1 plus 30, 29. Make sense? Yes. Well, we don't know what y is, so we have to leave it like that. We can't put anything together. We're done, right? They're not like terms.